Well, hello YouTube, it's me, Tri-State EDC, here late, on a Saturday, late-ish, it's almost 10, I'm old, I go to sleep at like 10 or 11, but we got a package here, oh, from Carco, and the holy grail has finally arrived, so let's open her up. <laughs> That's right, from Carco. I got the Doctor Who shirt on. Don't judge me, it's a great show. If you're not nerdy enough for it, get over yourself! We got the uh, pimped out Meton Boss. Manix 2, finally put together. So this is a lot of firsts in this box. Uh, well, not a lot. Only one first, really. Well, two. First time I bought a knife off my buddy, Carco. Uh, much appreciated, man. Uh, he's a great dude. You see him in the chat. If you see him in the chat, blow him a kiss. Tell them it's for me. Uh, and two, this is the first time I've ever owned a knife from Custom Knife Factory. And it's one I have always, always wanted. Oh. Oh, what is all this? What did you send me? What is this? What is this little guy? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I did not even know this This was uh, this ex this existed. There's a Civivi box. Before we get to the <laughs> the real thing, this says Civivi Mini Elementum because Carco knows how much I despise. <laughs> oh my God! Where's the Elementum? I recently unboxed this Elementum and I hated it, and it was basically Carco's fault that I bought this. So Carco, shame on you. I didn't want it, but I bought it anyway, and it's all your fault. So it's Carco's fault. I bought this and I hate it. This is the mini elementum i didn't even know this existed where did you even where what brass show side is it titanium is it a titanium frame lock this small size comparison uh here's the elementum and the mini elementum let me let me, let me do this let me do this let me zoom you in for full effect what this is absurdly tiny. Can I flip it? The detent's be the detent's better. The detent's better on this tiny toy than it is on the real thing. Lock up? Solid. Solid as a rock. Th okay, this is my index finger. It's no bigger than my index finger opened up. That is absurd. <laughs> Brushed brass i think or bronze show side frame lock lockups legitimately solid nice nice hand rubbed hollow grind stone washed it feels nice is this running on tiny bearings it is this is like a full-blown knife ergos in hand it's tiny but look i mean for that detail work you know I, look, honestly, this might be the best version of the Elementum. Period. Like, end of discussion. I think this is the best version of the Elementum. <laughs> it's a hell of a lot better than this one. I cannot believe this. Uh, Erga, let's see, the old pinch grip? Oh, pinch grip all day. Oh, that's, that's what this thing was made for. No pocket clip. It is too small for that. I genuinely... Action is great. Carco. It, look at this. The mini elementum is the same size as the regular regular elementum opened. So regular elementum closed, mini open. Same size. This isn't the mini elementum. This is the microscopic. We got to cut something with it. The action's okay. I'm not even going to like get into it because we have a really exciting unboxing. Acoustics? Honestly? It, it, not too bad. You know, let's cut something with this thing. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my goodness. This is the best surprise I've ever gotten. It cuts great. This is like le legitimately a full blown frame lock, but it's the size of my index finger. It cuts great. I had no idea this existed. I had no idea. 
I this is this is the best version of the elementum. Period. End of discussion. No other version comes close. This is the perfect EDC knife. <laughs> what an absurd thing, dude. It's like a little piece of jewelry. It comes with a little key fob too. Put it on your keys. That's hilarious. But it's not what we're here for. <laughs> Thank you for the laugh. Garko, that was good. I needed that. This is what we're here for. Nothing left in the box. Get it out of here. Relax. Jeez. This is my first CKF. And he cut me a great deal, and I can't thank him enough for it. Carco, once again, thank you, dude. We got that big, heavy-duty CKF pouch going on. Let's crack this open. I've wanted one of these for so long, and uh, so big shout-out to Carco. Got the big bag of extra goodies in there, extra hardware, a full extra pivot, extra bearing. We got some cards here. CKF, 520. Yeah, dude. Number 244, uh, September 2021, Philippe Georget, M390 Blades deal. Comes with this crazy looking magnet. All good stuff, but I'm here for the knife, baby. I'm here for the knife! Swaddled. Oh. Oh my. I've never even handled one of these. And I've wanted it so bad for so long. This is the CKF. 520, a Philippe Georget design. Clean. Clean and aggressive. These violent angles. These big chamfers all the way around. This design spoke to me from the moment I saw it. Gorgeous. Nice 3D milled pocket clip there. A little bit of micro milling going on here on the chamfering. Heavy stone wash. Full titanium frame lock. CKF knives. Uh, a custom knife factory out of Russia. Or, or, or an ex-Soviet state. I forget, future me, where is CKF based now? I think they were founded in Moscow, but they're made somewhere else. I don't know. Don't care. Anyway, CKF makes a damn fine knife. Uh, really nice titanium backspacer here. This beautiful uh, machined, textured carbon fiber inlay here. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous knife. It is a front flipper only visually, but I have plans to change that. So let's flip it open. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just... God, we have a beautiful hand rub, satin finish, M390 blade. Philippe Georget maker mark there. Really nice jimping, by the way, here where the front flipper tab is. Full-size knife. Let me give you a size comparison real quick. Um, we have the Spyderco Para 3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit bigger than the Para 3. A little bit longer. But not a giant knife. Here it is next to the... Uh, Rockwall, Tactile Knife Co. Rockwall. So yeah, a, a bit longer than both. Uh, carries a little bit, carries about the same size as a pair of three thickness-wise. Um, and obviously, girthier, longer than the Rockwall. So there you go, full-size knife. Big fan. Ergos, in hand. Because all that contouring, yeah, it feels great. White knuckle it, no issues, no hot spots, no pinch points at all. Feels really good. You can choke back. Thumb lands on that jimping there. That feels great. That feels totally fine. We don't have a, a finger trail. We got a nice sharpening trail there, though. So you, you can kind of get way out. Halfway point on the length of the blade there with your thumb. That feels great. Pinch grip. Yeah. All day, baby. All day. Feels great. Beautiful blade. Beautiful profile. M390. Number 244 marked down here. Just a gorgeous knife. So clean. Action. Let's check the action. So is there an over travel stop? There is not an over travel stop. At all. Interesting. So no over travel stop. Oh, but that action. Oh my goodness. Excellent. It's a front flipper and a front flip flipper only. But it's so snappy and satisfying. Oh, makes a great noise. Running on a set of ceramic bearings. Oof. Really nice, decently thick blade stock too. So that really helps with the closing action. Oh, so smooth. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> man. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Let's check the acoustics. Man, oh man, what a noise. 
What a noise. So these are sadly not available anymore. Uh, I don't know if they're going to do more of these. It seems like the last batch they did was two years ago. So it's been two years since these were made. I think Future Me, have they made any of these recently? I have no idea. They had a handful of different variants. One with the faux bolsters going on. They had a whole bunch of crazy versions of it. This, I think they had an actual bolster lock version. This is the uh, frame lock version. Oh. So it is a front flipper only. And that action is incredibly well dialed in. But I've seen a handful of them with a spidey hole. And I'm really thinking this needs a spidey hole. Because I don't... I've only wanted one for two years now. So I think now that I have one, I don't plan on getting rid of it. I got too good a price on it. I really like it. I'll give it a month before I poke a spidey hole in it. But this with a spidey hole? Game changer beautiful blade we gotta cut something with it real quick and i'll wrap it up absolutely gorgeous hand rub blade on there I hand rub satins are so beautiful but they scratch like nobody's business so i'm hoping i plan on using this knife i always do the issue is when i use uh hand rub satin blades i always scratch them so we're gonna see how that goes let me get my leftover scraps okay rough edge on it I don't know that... He, he's probably used it a time or two. Not the uh, best edge. But that's okay. Damn near a full flat grind on that M390 blade. And it's good and slicey. Good good geometry. So even if it's not crazy sharp, it's going to slice through. Let me tell you, let me, let me do a little something real quick. I lightly cleaned up that edge on a ceramic hone real quick. Took 10 seconds. Didn't get any better. Must be some hard... Hard ass M390. What the shit? It's better. It's better. It's better. Okay. Oh, yeah. I didn't strop it. Okay. Touched it to the strop. Still, you know, maybe that's just real thick behind the edge. I can't really... I'm not going to reprofile the whole damn thing. I just unboxed it. But, okay. It's better. It's getting better all the time. I can tell by the way that M390 feels on that stone, though. That's no joke. I don't know what they're heat treating it at, but it feels... It, it's not moving very easily. Usually, softer steels, I just have to touch the ceramic cone with a couple times, and it'll straighten that edge right up. Not the case here, man. This stuff's not budging. It's got a real nice edge on it. just doesn't play nice with, uh, with uh, phone book paper, which is fine. That is the 520, dude. Oh. What a thing. I'm so pumped I have this. Carco, thank you. And thank you for the tiny little pea shooter. <laughs> I, I, I'm blown away, dude. Two for one special, baby. I am smitten. Two, <laughs> two mind blowers, baby. Two stunners. Top notch EDC knives right there. I will leave links for this little pea shooter if I can find them. I don't even know if this is a thing anymore. If this is like a sprint run or something. I know I'm not going to be able to give you links for the fifth. I I know. I plead the fifth. You know what I mean? I, I You just, you're going to have to keep an eye out or have some good friends like I got in order to get yourself one. But uh, that is it for me. Not the full review, just the unboxing first impressions. I'm not judging it on that edge. I don't know if it's factory one and two. I'm sure Carco's used it. So I'll touch it up. I'll play with it. I'm sure by the next time we talk on a live stream. She'll be, she'll be cash money, baby. But that is it. Oh, real quick. Leave a like down there. Subscribe over here. Become a channel member. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the 520. I'm interested to hear your thoughts. Let me know. But that is it. Thank you again so much for watching. And until next time, bye-bye now.